So something I noticed from a lot of you guys recently is that you want me to at some point play the PS4 Shadow of the Colossus remake, which was done by Blue Point Games. And I will let you know that, you know what, of course I'll do that. It's not a game that was like immediately on my radar, but because I see so many people recommending it, and it's a game that I've always kind of been interested in, I've just never really took the time to go out of my way and, and look into it and, and give it a fair chance. Um, at some point in the future, I can't promise when, I want to say it'll be obviously before the end of the year at some point, but I will play this game and I will talk about my experience with it. And a lot of people have told me it's really a game worth playing. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is not only to let you guys know I plan on doing that, but because we know that there is a secret PS4 exclusive game that has yet to be revealed that will probably be revealed before the end of this year. And it's... <laughs> It's most likely coming from Blue Point Games because we know it's a second party deal. It's not coming from a Sony first party studio. And I came across an article here that said Blue Point's next project is a re envisioning beyond Shadow of the Colossus. So it says Blue Point Sublime Shadow of the Colossus remake is one of the finest games you can play on the PlayStation 4, but with its next project, the Austin-based outfit is looking to push itself even further. Speaking as part of a GDC pre presentation, the studio shed a little bit more light on what it's up to, describing its new project as a re-envisioning. For Shadow of the Colossus, we don't call it a remaster. We coin it a remake due to, due to the complexity of the project, technical director Peter Dalton told an audience of developers. And moving forward to our next project, we call it a re-envisioning, re-envisioning, re if I could say that right, given that it goes well beyond what we thought was possible on Shadow of the Colossus. So I think that quote's important because here's the thing. When we think of Blue Point Games, we know they're working on something that's probably going to be Sony-related. I've also seen people speculate that this secret PS4 exclusive could possibly be uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake, which is something that's also been rumored, which I don't even want to talk about that because that would that would be utterly amazing. I love the Metal Gear Solid series. Metal Gear Solid 3 is one of my all-time favorite games, so if that was the case, oh boy, uh, I wouldn't really care if it was exclusive or not, I just would be excited for that. Uh, so that could be a possibility. I mean, the idea of a Re-envisioning of a Metal Gear Solid game sounds awesome. I think if there's anything that Konami could do that maybe wouldn't necessarily upset fans too much and maybe make a little bit of amends would be to remake something like a beloved game like Metal Gear Solid 3 in the Fox engine. I think a lot of people would be very excited for that. But what I think most people think it is and what most people are expecting it to be is a Demon Souls remake. And there is a lot of, I don't want to say evidence, but there's just a lot of kind of, we're in a time now where From Software has proven that they are a top tier developer and that their formula that they established with Demon Souls is a formula that gamers love. And every game that they have made pretty much has gotten a ton of praise and has done really well. And it's funny to think that Sony had them like in the palm of their hands and they could have done more with Demon Souls, but because they thought it was more of like a niche title at the time and they didn't see the potential there for like long term success, they kind of let From Software go and they let Demon Souls go and then we ended up getting Dark Souls and we all know the story and you know it's history now. But I think people really want a Demon Souls. Uh, I, I guess what, if this is if that's what this is a re envisioning, and I think that that sounds amazing because from what I've heard from people t talking to me about Shadow of the Colossus, is that it's an amazing uh, remake, and it's clear that you know taking a PS2 game like that, making it on PS4, it's it's clear that a lot of work did go into it because I have seen the trailer for it, and it seems like they re like. It makes people think, can you go beyond that? And taking a game like Demon's Souls, potentially, it seems like what they're saying here, if that's what this secret PS4 exclusive game is, this second-party title that has yet to be announced, 
that could be the case. Now, there's one last thing I want to say here that I think is worth pointing out. And it has to do with Colin Moriarty, if any of you guys don't know who he is. He has his own channel. I believe it's Colin's Last Stand. And he does a PlayStation podcast. Um, and I listen to the... Uh, I think that the, the podcast is called Sacred Symbols, and not the latest episode, but the one before that, it was like halfway through the podcast, he just casually said, I, I'm not going to quote him directly, because I, I don't have it written down here, but he basically said that, you know, once again reaffirming uh, that Sony does have a substantial PS4 exclusive second party deal that they haven't announced, he said he doesn't know why they're waiting to announce it. But he specifically said that at this point, it's basically an open secret. And I thought that when he said that, it was really important because that I immediately went to, it's Demon Souls. Demon's Souls. Whatever, however you say it. I immediately thought that because I thought, well, what's the game that everybody kind of keeps talking about and keeps pointing to as if it's something we already know. It's just a matter of getting the official announcement. It's Demon Souls. And to me, that counts as what we would call an open secret. So it really just kind of made me think like, okay, you know, maybe this really is what Bluepoint is working on. And because it's a Sony-owned IP, Demon's Souls is a Sony-owned IP, it will be a second-party exclusive. It all makes sense. The thing about Metal Gear Solid, uh, you know, for as much as I would love that as well, that's not owned by Sony, obviously. Although I think a lot of people would love for Sony to somehow get their hands on the Metal Gear Solid IP. I would love that, see it live, <laughs> you know, and actually have a chance for a future especially now that they're partnered with Kojima. But, um, you know, that that would most likely be a, uh, a multi-platform title because it's, you know, from Konami. So all of this just kind of makes me... Th it gets me excited, honestly, because I never experienced Demon Souls, but I'm a huge Dark Souls fan. Uh, you know, you guys know I played Bloodborne. I'm having a lot of people tell me I need to play Sekiro, which I plan on doing at some point. Um, yeah, I heard it's very, very difficult, but it does look very good. Uh, so I'm a big From Software fan, and I would really love to experience Demon Souls. And what I'm hearing from Bluepoint here, if this is what they're working on, and they're saying it's going to be a re-envisioning, and they're going to go way beyond what they did with Shadow of the Colossus, that gets me pretty excited. But we have to understand that this secret PS4 exclusive, everything I'm saying here, it's speculative. We don't know for sure. We are going to have to wait for the official announcement. But I thought it would be interesting to talk about this for a little bit. So I'm going to end the video here. I don't want to make it too long. At this point, I'm going to ask you guys to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think this secret PS4 exclusive is? What do you think that this project Bluepoint Games is working on? Do you think the two go hand in hand? And do you think it all adds up based off of maybe what Colin Moriarty said about it being an open secret that it is in fact Demon Souls? And if it is, how excited would you be for that? If it's not, would you be excited for, for it to possibly be a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake or something like that? I will be interested to see what you guys have to say. Be sure to leave the video a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the bell notification and feel free to share the video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.